Hey guys, this is Sarah and I'm coming to you today with a do-it-yourself monarch butterfly sunglasses tutorial. So this is the before and after you'll end up with something like this. I put a link to all the supplies that I used underneath this video on my blog. There's a link under the video. Let's get started. All right, so I used white cat eye sunglasses. Um, I painted them yellow. You're also going to need uh, paint. I used yellow, white, and black. And you're going to need paint brushes. You're going to need some Q-tips for cleaning up when you get paint on the frames. And you're going to need Mod Podge. Like I said, I put a link, link to everything I use underneath this video. You can go cheap and get dollar store sunglasses only if you can find the cat eye type because you're going to need room to paint the butterfly wings. Do not use nail polish for these. Use real acrylic paint. Otherwise, your sunglasses are going to turn out lumpy and the paint will peel and you don't want paint getting in your eyes. So paint the frames whatever color you want. I chose yellow. After it dries, you're going to add black wings. This part is the part that takes the longest. You're going to want to use a tiny brush around the frames and a larger brush around here. After it dries, you're going to do the other side. Um, try to make it at least somewhat symmetric. And if you get any paint on the actual sunglass part, you can use uh, Q-tips to clean it up before it dries. All right, so after they dry, five to 10, maybe 15 minutes, add polka dots with a round brush. Um, this is really important to make it look like an actual monarch butterfly wings. You can use a picture of a butterfly for inspiration. I'm always taking pictures of them, so that's what I looked at when I was painting these. After it dries, paint the antenna and the face. This is actually really creepy, um, but you know, Here's my little cute little butterfly face with the curly antennas. After that dries, you're going to want to cover the whole part that you painted with Mod Podge using a medium brush. This is to seal it and so that none of the paint chips off. It's going to make it last basically as long as you have them. So <laughs> when you put the layer of Mod Podge on, it's going to look like this, but don't panic because it dries clear. Just like with Elmer's glue, it looks white when you put it on, but it dries really clear. So after they dry, celebrate and rock your new shades. Like I said before, I put the links to the products I used under this video. Thanks for watching. Visit my site for more thrifty do-it-yourself projects, style, and travel. Bye.